guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki today's video it's concealer arc if it's your first time here welcome if you're a subscriber thank you so much for tuning in if you love to see this video then keep on watching while we go right into this first off guys i'll be cleansing with the micellar cleansing water probably you all know my skin prep routine by now these days i prefer to do my skin before my brows but i just chose to do my brows today before every other thing i don't know why but uh if you've not seen my brow routine i'll be leaving a card somewhere here so you check that out excuse me i wasn't supposed to clean my lid because i already had something on board i did that so next thing i do is to spray my face with some rose water this rose water i just turn it into this container and i'm going to let this dry down before i go in with my moisturizer this is from omari code and uh, brega i love this moisturizer so much i love the consistency this is almost finished guys i need to get a new one i only do not use it under my makeup i use it even when i don't have makeup on just to give my skin that glow you want your skin to stay hydrated under your makeup so if you've not seen a video on skin prep that i did i'll be leaving a card here so you see that and yes guys if you've not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe leave a comment share with friends and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and also let me know what videos you like to be seen up on this channel i do makeup videos i do skincare you know i give some tips and tricks on how to you know get or keep your skin looking good remember that this video is a concealer hack so i'm going to show you the new way how i apply my concealer if you've not used this uh, moisturizer before and you're you know confused on what to use don't be confused anymore go and try this moisturizer you will love it it can also double up as a primer because it leaves your skin feeling tacky so i'm using the rumel stay matte primer for my skin this is another drugstore primer that you love it helps your makeup to stay in place for at least for some time but if i want my makeup to stay for a very long time i do apply some other thing so next i'm going to be using their pore professional this is an in brand if you don't have this trust me the remel stay matte it's enough for you to use it serves for purposes which is it controls shine minimizes spores hydrate the skin and also smoothing out the skin at this point my skin is very smooth i'm not even gonna lie this one is just extra serious. so i just took a very little amount and use it in this area because i want to feel in my pores like before i before i don't have pores like my skin was all smooth you know as you're growing things are changing your body system and all of that and yes this is it guys next guys i'll be using this two foundation this is Maybelline spa stay in 330 toffee caramel and this is no band beauty in my skin foundation in q adia w7 so i'll be mixing both i'll drop like one drop of this because this is a little darker than my skin and then this is in between my skin so i'm going to add like two and a half pump i'll use my brush tip to mix both of it together so i feel mixing foundation for me gives me a better shade and it's I find my undertone when I mix two foundations together other than just using one foundation the reason why 
I went in with Maybelline foundation and the Noban Beauty is because Maybelline foundation is more on the fuller coverage while Maybelline is a very lightweight foundation so I just want a kind of both like yes I wanted to cover my skin but I need some glow within and yeah in case you haven't watched how I apply foundation I'm also going to be leaving a card at the top left hand by my left hand which is your right so that you will see how I apply my foundation I also go over my foundation with a beauty sponge this is to give me a flawless blend I feel when I use a beauty sponge I get that flawless blend so I try as much as possible also to avoid uh, applying foundation underneath my eyes because I feel um, putting foundation in that area and also using a concealer will make it look too much and most times it gets cakey especially for people that are very oily skin so I feel uh, concealer would do the job most concealers are full coverage so there's no point taking your foundation to that area for me is a personal preference though that is the blend yet from using a beauty sponge is something that I cannot do without even if I use my brushes to blend out my foundation I still feel there's need for me to go in using my brush using my beauty sponge but if your brushes does the job perfectly for you I don't see any reason for you to go in with these for me I don't feel there is any rules to make up do what works for you guys I'll be using these two concealer this is LA girl pro concealer in the shade uh, warm honey and then this is ferrarusi concealer so i'm going to do the new technique how i apply my concealer these days and on this other side i'm going to show you how i used to apply my concealer before so that you compare both of it or both of them and see the one you prefer is a see that wants to drop and then I go into this area with this and on this area I'm just going to apply it just the same way I usually apply my concealer previously I'm just going to concentrate this arc underneath my eyes so that you see exactly what I'm doing now on this other eyes and then what I usually do before on this other side so I'll be taking this shade and putting it right in this area because I want this area to you know pop what I do now instead of me using a beauty sponge like this to blend this area I use my brush and this is from Vika Bell NK5 to uh, blend so I always love my blending to start from my chin my forehead but you can blend whichever you want but this is my preference and how to blend my concealer now i'm so used to doing my skin before my brow so i'm kind of being too careful with the concealer on my forehead so i won't go overboard and clean my brows since i started doing this act i really really saw or see tremendous change in my look which you are going to see i don't want to tell you like i want you to you know see yourself and then you judge and pick the side that you will actually prefer but for me i don't see anything wrong with any of it though but you're gonna be the judge 
okay so the next thing i do i take my beauty sponge and blend the edges of my concealer so there will be no demarcation from what i blend with my foundation so i just blend this side and i also turn over to the clean side i and tap on on that concealer following the exact shape of what i did on this side of the face i'm going to go in straight with my beauty sponge and just blend my foundation my concealer this is the old way that i usually or previously apply my concealer i don't know if you can see any difference like if there is any difference with the way this side is looking with the way this side is looking <laughs> if you ask me i still love the way this other side looks but you know in a way this eyes is more kind of more lifted than this other side i'm going to go do my contour i will come back i use the maybelline superstay foundation in 360 mocha mocha for my contour so i'm just going to blend underneath my eyes one more time to prevent creasing so guys i'm setting using the s one i'm using the same brush i use in blending underneath my eyes to set this brush also gives you control over where you you have to set i always tap off excess excess powder because you don't want that to you know come on your face too much because i'm actually setting up baking take a little and just work that on the areas where you have to set so let me blend underneath that area because i'm seeing some creasing remember that whatever you set if you set a crease on the eyes that's what you're going to have you went back to something else if you come back blend before you set underneath your eyes if not you're not going to like the outcome already i'm feeling like this other eyes is lifted than this other eyes if you ask me i really see no difference no there's a difference yeah but i still love both i said you guys are going to be the judge in this video today so please don't forget to leave a comment down the comment section let me know which of the eyes you would rather do so i'm going to go in with that brush again because i need to blend like make the edges look good i like to go back with the beauty sponge on this other eyes i just follow exactly where i've set already with the powder and just push that into my skin i'm not going to be baking today i'm just going to set and go so guys because of the arc i use in applying my concealer you can see how this other side of my eyes is way lifted than this other side this is the way i normally apply my concealer or this is the way i was applying my concealer previously when i got to know about this arc and i tried it and i really really love the way my eyes is lifted it just curved my face out so if i'm to choose i'll choose this other side but this side is also beautiful i feel this side look way more snatched than this other side i feel also because um the concealer the way i applied the concealer it also helped me 
in lifting my contour so guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section which of the eyes will you prefer to do every day thank you so much for watching if you love this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys